If you come to my climbing gym, you probably heard me screaming at least once. But at least I'm not the only one. Sure, Adam Ondra, Alex Magos, Chris Sharma are some of the best climbers in the world. But if we think about Tomoya Narazaki, who's also an incredible climber, one of the best, we never hear him shout. So what is this all about? Should Tomoya start screaming? Should you? Or should you not? Are those people who scream only looking for attention or an ego boost? Many studies actually tested that uh, screaming might improve performance. A study in 2014 asked participants to squeeze a device where they were vocalizing, which is screaming, breathing forcefully or normally breathing. The results showed that uh, when participants were vocalizing, were shouting, the grip strength was significantly higher. Oh God. There is also another sport in which shouting is really common, which is Asian martial arts. There is a study which involved 25 experts and 25 novices and tested whether their strength, well, grip strength again, uh, was stronger when uh, shouting or not. And the results were consistent with shouting uh, resulting in higher force. I am not going to present you other studies, but there are also more studies that all convey towards this direction. That's the truth. There are multiple hypotheses on why this would be the case. Some appeal to the uh, idea that shouting increases the activation of the sympathetic nervous system with an increase in adrenaline in the system. Others refer to a stronger contraction of the core muscles while screaming. And if I sh scream while doing that move, then I'm 100% sure that I'm doing that move while breathing out. So should you take into consideration to scream, be mindful that this results only look at mean scores in the laboratory setting. None of these studies uh, were conducted in the presence of peers, nor took into consideration the element of personality differences. For example, we rarely see female climbers power scream. We can see them screaming after a strain of sand. But I couldn't find a single footage of a female power screaming. If you find one, write it in the comment. At the same time, it's very hard to find the Japanese athletes, notwithstanding the gender, power scream. Females and Japanese culture have in common that they're very socially oriented and also taught not to de disturb the environment. It is possible that this learning is inhibiting this behavior. And then it's possible that these thoughts of uh, fear of judgment and shame might disrupt flow or decrease the force exertion. So far, we saw many people asking athletes why they power scream, but we never hear people saying why they don't scream. In psychology, we pay much attention into internalizing and externalizing behaviors which refer to how we deal with negative emotions. Externalizing behavior tend to be very salient and so very relevant in the social context, and therefore they receive much more attention. For example, teachers in school tend to report externalizing behaviors such as violence and bullism much earlier than internalizing behaviors like anxiety and peer avoidance.
The same is happening in this context. Power screens are very salient as they are externalizing behavior and they receive much more attention compared to when people do not scream. I know why I sometimes scream. I know it helps me in my commitment when I'm feeling pain. If I scream, I know that I'm doing my best despite the pain in my fingers or my forearm pump being unbearable. But if you are the type that doesn't scream, I want to hear your thoughts about this. How do you feel when you do it? Have you ever tried? Does it feel very unnatural to you? Let me know, I would really like to give a voice to those that are not so loud. Show yourself! Lastly, I would like to share a couple of words on the meaning of screaming. Shouting can have a psychological meaning outside of the tensing of the core muscles. In some sports in which aggressiveness is very relevant, screaming before the exertion uh, might have an important role in scaring the opponents. but also could be important in tuning yourself into your level of optimal functioning. In fact, it can increase your level of intensity and power. Finally, shouting and swearing after the exertion can have a psychological impact on your mental state and on your mindset on future trainings. One of the most trivial examples. A friend of mine once uh, was so frustrated after falling uh, on his project uh, that he kicked the wall so hard he actually broke his nail. And obviously it was very hard for him to train in climbing shoes afterwards. But I can also give a concrete example of my own experience. There was a time in which I realized that screaming was a signal of me getting totally outside of my mental game. That day my girlfriend was with me in the gym but in another part so she actually couldn't see me. And my scream was so hideous that she didn't recognize me. She said that she thought someone was dying. <laughs> What was that? But then noticing that everyone was chill, apart from the fact that the whole gym went silent, uh, stopped her from investigating more. Right after finishing screaming, I started crying from disappointment and shame. That is how bad it was. And that not only impacted my performance, but also how I was seeing climbing in general. I wasn't following my training plan anymore, I was just hopping on the project as many times as I could and I uh, were going home with disappointment every time. So I had to reach out for my girlfriend to get out of this vicious loop. I think this example can show how screaming can have a different meaning depending on when and how you do it. So because of all the reasons that I've said so far, I don't recommend you to scream if it feels very unnatural to you or if you feel that it drives you in a very bad mood. Don't scream. As always, consider to test and verify what works for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this content, remember to turn on the notifications so that you don't miss this type of videos. And I'll see you in the next video and stay psyched. Che in inglese si dice ego. Breathely, breathe strongly, forcefully. Might. Mm, sì. Mm -hmm.